Today we're going to be talking about relationships. Well, kind of. You'll see what I mean in a minute. We're actually going to be talking about some Cricut Design Space features that you need to know to master designing in Cricut Design Space. I'm talking about Group, Attach, Weld, and Unite. If we're just meeting right now, hi, my name is Nisha. Welcome to Little Craft Nest. Let's jump on to Cricut Design Space and I'll share my fun little analogy with you. First, we're gonna talk about group. So I have two different colored hearts here. And if I were to select both of these hearts and then go up above the layers panel and click on group. Now with these two items, you can move around the screen together. I like to think of group as a friendship. These hearts can move around together but they are their own separate layer. They're not combined in any way. So if you were to click on make it, these hearts would cut out on separate mats because they are two different colors. Now if they were the same color, they would cut out on the same mat and Design Space would just place those hearts on your mat separately, but you could always move them around on your mat if you want them to cut out in a different position. Let's click on cancel here. Now, why would you want to use group? Group is great if you have piles of different layers and you want to keep some together while you work on other layers. So now let's talk about attach. I like to think of attach as more like a dating relationship. So we have both of our hearts here and we can select both of those individual layers and then go down to the bottom right and click attach. Now you'll notice they turned the same color. And that's because when you use attach, you're telling Design Space to cut these hearts out together in the placement that you have them on the screen. So if we were to click make it, these hearts would cut out side by side. Now you can't move them around individually on this page because they're attached together, but you can move them around the page together. So let's cancel this. So one thing about a dating relationship, that dating relationship can end at any time. And you can also break the attachment between your layers in Design Space. So if you go down below the layers panel, we can always click on detach. Now each of these hearts are their own separate layer once again. They did remain the same color. So if you wanted this to be a different color again, you'd simply go over to your color swatch and change that color out again. Now you may be wondering what happens if you were to overlap these hearts and attach them. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna have both of these hearts overlapping. Select both of those layers and click on attach. Now you'll notice on our top layer that you can see the cut line here going through our bottom layer. So if we were to click on make it, we'd have both hearts cut out exactly where we place them on our design space canvas. However, Design Space will cut out this heart here and it will also cut out this heart. So there will be a cut line between our layers. Now, let's say you didn't want that cut line in between your layers. So let's cancel this. We're gonna detach our hearts again. So now they're back to their own individual layer. And instead of attaching, we're now going to weld these two layers together. So let's select both of the hearts here and we're gonna go down to combine and then click on weld. Now, I like to think of weld as a marriage relationship. This change is permanent. It's death to us part, we're sticking together, the two have become one. Now, there's nothing you can do to change this after you've pressed weld. Except you can get this marriage quickly annulled if you wanted to by clicking on the undo arrow in the top left corner. So if you click on undo, we'll have both our layers separated again. However, if you go ahead and select those layers, go to combine and click on weld, and then you save your project or you exit out of design space, you cannot undo this change. This is a permanent design, and so these hearts will forever remain like this. The only way to get your individual hearts again is by starting over from the beginning. So if you were to click on Make It here, you'll see there's no cut line between these hearts. This has now become one new shape. So let's click on Cancel. 
And this time we're gonna talk about Unite, which is very similar to Weld. So let's get rid of these hearts and get some new ones. So I have two new hearts here, and this time we are gonna overlap them. We're gonna select both of the hearts, go down to Combine, and click on Unite. Now, I like to think of Unite as a marriage that has the potential for divorce, or maybe you wanna think of it as a contract with an escape clause. Because as you'll notice, Unite does the same thing as Weld. It has put these two shapes together and it looks pretty permanent. However, if we go back down to Combine again, we can click on Undo Unite. So there's our escape clause. If you made a mistake, you can always redo your design. And that is why I often opt to use Unite rather than Weld, just because if you use Unite, you can always change your design after. So let's go ahead and unite these two layers together again. So I'm gonna select them both, combine and unite. Now let's click on combine again. So you'll see another option here under undo unite and it says merge layers. Now if we click on merge layers, what we're essentially doing is the same thing as we did with Weld. After you save your design or you exit out of design space, you cannot change this image. So if you wanted to make that permanent change, you can do that. So let's go over this quickly one more time again so it sticks in your head and you'll be designing like a pro. So group is like our friendship, our pieces move around together on our campus, but they don't cut out together. Attach is like our dating relationship, our hearts move around on the page together, but they also stay together when we go to make it. Weld is like our marriage, this cannot be undone, and our two shapes become one. And Unite is also the same, but you're able to undo this relationship simply by clicking on Undo Unite. Now I hope this analogy helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. And if you want to learn about these other features under Combine, which are Unite, Subtract, Intersect, and Exclude, I do have another video on that, which I'll leave linked down below in the description. I hope to see you on more crafting adventures.